What is up, everybody? It's your girl, Krista Exposed, bringing you some, well, little chilled tea. Um, I have been reporting on some other things recently and haven't been able to touch on this, but I am touching on this, and we're also going to talk about Tana Mojo here later on. But anyways, um, what exactly happened with Bella Thorne and OnlyFans by Hannah Gold? The cut, yes, in regards to sex work. This week, 22-year-old actress Bella Thorne went from positioning herself as a celebrity darling of OnlyFans to having to issue an apology to sex workers. Many of the site's performers say the former Nickelodeon star's contentious entree to the subscription-based platform, where she earned a reported $2 million in under a week, caused the site to limit the amount of money performer, its performers can make. OnlyFans, with its 30 million users, has long been a platform where performers, especially those with explicit content, can earn a living. It has been especially crucial for many sex workers seeking ways to support themselves while social distancing guidelines are in place. And the industries across the board have moved more of their operations online. Here's what we know so far about Bella Thorne's OnlyFans controversy. So how did this all begin? On August 19th, Bella Thorne joined OnlyFans. She later earned, she later said she earned one million the day she joined. The most earned by any OnlyFans creator on their first day, the platform confirmed. And had accrued two million in the first six days charging $20 per viewer to access her page, Thorne told the Los Angeles Times that she would donate some of the money and would invest the rest in her production company. She also claimed to have joined the site as research for an upcoming project, film project with the Florida Project director Sean Baker. Thorne described the film as a feature we are researching as I am living it currently that explores the ins and outs of maintaining an income through OnlyFans. How did Thorne's stunt impact performers on OnlyFans? On Thursday, August 27, OnlyFans creators were informed that the platform implementing limits on what they could charge a maximum of $50 per user for pay-per-view content and how much they could be tipped, $100 at most. The platform also announced that content creators would no longer receive their payouts on a weekly basis, but 30 days after transactions took place instead. The new policy significantly hampered its creator's ability to be compensated adequately and in a timely fashion. At the same time, people began circulating posts on social media claiming that when Thorne joined OnlyFans, she began selling an exclusive pay-per-view photo for $200, which allegedly advertised as a nude turned out not to be one, resulting in many visitors demanding a refund. Several OnlyFans performers had subsequently blamed Thorne for the site's policy change. Thorne told the Los Angeles Times that she never advertised nudity on her page. Even before the controversy over the nude arose, sex workers on OnlyFans had criticized Thorne for capitalizing on the site without drawing attention to adult content creators, some of whom have accused the platform of marginalizing them. OnlyFans told Insider that the site's policy changes had nothing to do with Thorne's account, saying transaction limits are set to help prevent overspending and to allow our users to continue to use the site safely. We can confirm that any changes to transaction limits are not based on any one user. But some of the performers are skeptical. Jenna Fox, who's been making money through OnlyFans since 2017, told the Times that she thought the company's response to the controversy was an excuse to cover their own butt. Fox pointed out that while Thorne is already rich and has many sources of income, OnlyFans is a full-time job for some of us. Fox po decided 
I'm sorry, that Thorne didn't hurt anyone but the sex community. Then Sean Baker denied he's working on a film with Thorne. On Friday, Sean Baker released a statement denying Thorne's claim that the two are working on a film project together, clarifying that he and her team chatted about a concept, but nothing more. I would like to make it clear that the news of me making a film about OnlyFans and using Bella Thorne as research is false. And the doctor said, I am not attached to this project, Baker went on. He said he'd had a conversation with Thorne earlier this month in which they discussed a possible collaboration on the subject of OnlyFans. He said during the conversation, he specifically advertised her team to consult with sex workers and address the way she went about this as to not hurt the sex work industry. As you see there is Sean Baker's tweet. Finally, Thorne apologized. By Saturday, Thorne adopted a very different attitude towards her OnlyFan windfalls, issuing an apology in which she weirdly positioned herself as a champion of sex workers. She wrote that her intention in joining OnlyFans was to remove the stigma behind sex and sex work, and the negativity that surrounds the word sex itself by bringing mainstream face to it. The create to create more revenue for content creators on the site, which is literally the opposite of what happened in this process. I hurt you, she wrote, and for that, I'm truly sorry. And you see, there is her official tweets. So, what do you guys think on this? What? She has, like, literally impacted so many people's lives with this. Now, there are people on there, like, Trisha Paytas is in the top 0.001% that, yeah, she's still going to make money. But these people were able to tip the amount of money that they wanted, not $100. They could tip 1000 10000 100000 whatever they wanted to tip. You could charge whatever you wanted to charge for a pay-per-view content, whether it be picture, photo, whatever. And now, because she got on the site, and they can say they didn't do it because of her or whatever, but because Miss Bella Thorne, the Nickelodeon star, got on there and said she was posting a nude, which turned out not to be a nude, and everybody wanted a refund and OnlyFans accounts were severely impacted at that point in time because they were paying people out weekly. They didn't, <clears throat> they couldn't cover their butt. So they put these new things in process to where now you can only tip $100 maximum at a time and $50 is the max for a pay-per-view. Now, some of these girls are actually posting sexual content of them like it's like sex tapes basically and you could charge whatever you wanted for these videos and now you can only charge 50 bucks these girls a lot of them refuse to put their content out that cheaply but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you a sex worker? Have you worked in this industry before? Is this something that has affected you or someone you know? Or are you somebody that I just totally don't agree with it and have no issues with what's going on? Anyways, it's a popular story. I figured I'd throw it in there. You guys enjoy your day. I'm going to enjoy mine. Talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. You'll know what to do.